What's up guys, I'm here with my second set of candles from Harry Slatkin's Homeworks Ice Cream Collection candles. I already did reviews on the Fantastic Fudge and the Creamy Dreamy Vanilla, and now I have the other set that I just finished, and it's the Ooey Gooey Salted Caramel and the Mint Delicious Chocolate Chip. So first off, we'll talk about the Ooey Gooey Salted Caramel. So this one was really good. You guys, this one, so, so good. If you like caramel scents, you really have to get this one. I loved this one so much. So I'll read the scent notes. It's ooey gooey salted caramel, salted caramel, maple syrup, honey, it says maple, salted caramel, maple syrup, honeyed nuts. That's all one note. Maple syrup, honeyed nuts. And then warm butterscotch, buttered toffee, and dark brown sugar. Yes, it's just a, definitely a ooey gooey salted caramel. It's very, uh, very rich, very just uh, sweet, very mm, just so good. Definitely get the caramel, and but it's not like an overly sickly caramel scent. You really get that butterscotch and that buttered toffee too. The maple syrup, it says maple syrup, honeyed nuts. But you don't get like a lot of maple, but I did get a little bit of maple, but not like a heavy syrupy maple or anything like that. It's just a tad hint of like a mapleness in there. But as far as like honeyed nuts, I could maybe even get a little bit of honey in there. A slight bit of maple, even maybe a little tad bit of honey, but I didn't get any kind of nutty, nutty scent at all in here. But mostly that, that butterscotch and that buttered toffee really come out with that caramel. And the dark brown sugar, that was a little bit in there too. It's like a caramely toffee, butterscotch toffee, brown sugar. And then just that maple, just a slight bit of maple and honey in there. But don't get scared if you don't like maple because it's not like a real big maple scent by any means. But it's a really good, really good, nice, uh, decadent caramel scent. But like I said, it's not too much because sometimes caramel scents for me can be like a little bit much. They can be too uh, sickeningly sweet and a little bit much, but this one wasn't. It was very good. I mean, you could smell it really well, but it wasn't like too much. It was just enough to where it smelled really good without being too overpowering, like sickeningly sweet. So the burn on this one was good. As you can see, it burned all the way down there. Really, really clean burn, no soot or anything on the sides really good they burn down so good no problems with them they pull out you don't have to worry about the puny wick syndrome they don't the flames don't get puny or anything never ever have i had to cotton ball a homeworks candle at all i'm actually saving money in my cotton balls now when i'm burning these homeworks candles because i don't have to buy i haven't had to use my cotton balls for quite a while except for uh some of the a few bath and body works candles i've still been burning i've used on them but i've been burning so many of these homeworks candles i've definitely cut down on my cotton ball usage so the throw on this one it was really good too. This was almost up there with Fantastic Fudge. It was very strong. I would say probably about an eight and a half out of 10 on the throw on this and when it was in its height. It was strong almost through, all the way through the candle. This one stayed pretty consistent through the whole thing. I could smell it really, really well. It was just a nice, a very pleasant caramel scent and decadent. Just so, so good. Really happy with that one, the ooey gooey salted caramel. And next we have the Mintalicious Chocolate Chip. And this one was a really nice light green color, mint green color around the stripes and the lid there. This one reads iced peppermint, crushed white chocolate, crystallized sugar, and whipped cream. This one was nice too. Yeah, I ended up really liking this more than I thought I was going to, especially after like that when it really got it, even to almost towards the last half of this one, this just really started kicking in and really, I just really started enjoying it. Mm. Yes, it was nice. On my haul, in the haul, I said, uh, my haul of this one, I said, it was very much a spearmint on Cold Sniff and it definitely was on Cold Sniff, but when it burns, it's not quite a spearminty to me, it wasn't. I actually picked up a little bit more of that peppermint. It was like a, a mixture of like a peppermint and a spearmint when it was burning. And, but it was a, like a real icy spearmint. It really had that icy coldness like of that peppermint. It's like a pep, 
an icy cold peppermint spearmint mixture is what it kind of was when it was burning. The icy coldness almost comes off, it kind of makes it kind of like an ice cream kind of a scent because it has that real icy feeling that made it come off kind of like an ice cream because of that icy coolness that it had with that peppermint. Really, really nice. And then that white chocolate, it did come through as well when I burned it, that white chocolate really came through. It had that creaminess and that white chocolate mixed in with that peppermint. Yeah, and the whipped cream, it, it, it had like a creaminess to it. So that, you know, could have be like the whipped cream and that white chocolate. Yeah, and then the other was crystallized sugar. And it did have like a sugary, sweet sugariness to it as well. Really, really nice. And like I said, once it got even towards that second part of this, it really was kicking in. And it was just really good, really, really nice. The burn on this one was nice as well. Burned all the way down. Hardly any soot on the sides or anything. This one did form some mushroom tops and then when I would go to relight it, I had a little bit of problems with smoke on this one. I'll insert some footage of this candle when I tried lighting it without trimming the wicks and I'll sh you can see what it looked like. So as you can see, when I light it, I would I tried not trimming the candles before I before this candle before I lit it and then I would I lit it and then I would stand back and watch and see if I saw any smoke coming off the flames and you can see here there was a little bit of black smoke shooting off the flames. So I wasn't comfortable with that leaving that way. So I have to blow it out and trim it. Sometimes if you just kind of let it do that for a few minutes, it'll kind of calm down and that smoke won't come off those flames as much. But sometimes it just kind of keeps going and I'm just like, okay, I just don't like that smoke coming off of those flames. So I personally, I will trim them. I've heard a lot of people say they don't really rarely trim their wicks on these homeworks candles. But I, I just really am not comfortable doing that if I see that smoke coming off there. Some candles aren't as much as the other ones. Cause like this, my gooey gooey salted caramel, I didn't notice that happening as much as I did with this one. That kind of happened the same way with my fantastic fudge and the creamy dreamy vanilla. The creamy dreamy vanilla it happened with too a little bit but not so much the fantastic fudge. Same with this one. I don't think this one happened quite as much as it did with the uh, creamy dreamy vanilla but it still did have a little bit of the black coming off there. And I did have, I have had some others like I said they'll, it'll kind of do that and then it just kind of stops and then it won't do that anymore. After like a few minutes it'll kind of stop and it won't, that smoke will come off those flames. So I don't know, that, sometimes that just kind of happens with wicks, it's just going to kind of happen. But I just feel more comfortable trimming the wicks a little bit so that, because if it's not as high, the flame's not as high, you're not really going to get a chance of getting any smoke coming off those flames. The only problem with that is if you do cut them, the flame's not going to be quite as high, so it's going to take just a little bit longer for it to completely pull out. But even then, it still usually throws really well, even if it's not... Even when these candles aren't completely pulled out to the sides, they usually start throwing pretty good, even when they're not completely liquefied all the way around the sides. So yes, and the throw on this one, the throw was, it was nice, but it wasn't quite as, definitely wasn't as strong as the ooey gooey salted caramel. Like I said, this one picked up more towards the last half. So on the first half, it was a little bit lighter. Second half, at the highest, it was probably about, I'd say about a seven. When it got to the highest point, when it was a little bit lighter, it was maybe like a six and a half or so. Seven-ish when it got to the highest point. I, but I, I mean, I smelled it fairly well. I had it in the living room. It was, or in the bedroom. I tried in the living room. It was a, it got slightly lost in the living room and open concept area. So I moved to the bedroom and it did really, really well in the bedroom. I would come in the bedroom and I, I was smelling it and I just, yeah, I did it really, really well. So this was um, much stronger than my creamy, dreamy vanilla. That one was really super light. But this one was much stronger than that one was. Yes, so I really enjoyed both these in this set. They did really well. So I would say as far as like strength and um, how you could smell them, for all four candles, I would say Fantastic Fudge was probably the strongest. Then the Ooey Gooey, Fanta Ooey Gooey Salted Caramel was the second. Third would be the Mentalicious Chocolate Chip. And then fourth was the creamy dreamy vanilla 
and that is actually probably the order that I like them. Fantastic Fudge was my favorite, then the ooey gooey salted caramel, then the mint delicious chocolate chip, and then the creamy dreamy vanilla. I probably would have liked the creamy dreamy vanilla even better if it would just would have been stronger. If I would have been able to smell it more, I probably, it might have probably beat out this one. I probably might have liked it even better than this one, but this one just gave me much more throw than that creamy dreamy d vanilla did. So I, I, I did like, enjoy this one a little bit more than that one. So that's my review of my ooey gooey salted caramel and my mint delicious chocolate chip. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you all in our next video. Bye.